Hello, welcome to University of Parks and Drafting. My name is Umo. So in this tutorial, I'm going to be teaching you how to attach a busk to your Victorian corset. So this is essentially what a busk looks like. And a busk is essentially a type of front closure for your corset. Now, busks are not the only types of front closure for your corset. You can also use zips like this, or your corsets may not even have any form of closures in front. So busks come in different types shapes colors and sizes and you can make your choice based on maybe the color of your fashion fabric or the kind of design that you're going for you know or you know the length of your corset or whatsoever so these are my two types of um busks that i have you can see one is actually longer than the other the shorter one sort of like has a bit of an arrow so i'll just use this longer one to explain so first off you can see that i've opened it up and now you can see the knobs now busks come as a pair so there's one side that has the knobs and then the other side has the loops so you can see the one with the knob the knobs are one-sided as you can see so you can see that when i fix it you can see that there's a bit of a space in between it like a quarter of an inch can you see that this is um, a very important um, thing to note because if you fix it the other way do you know if you fix it maybe if you turn it the other way or you fix it in another way it will sort of like overlap so now you can see that i've turned it the other way can you see that and you can see that it's overlapping there's no more space in between that space in between is very very essential because you need it you need the fabric that's um you're going to be fixing the box in busk into to actually sit in that space very very important so this is actually the right way to fix it and then you can see that the top has sort of like a punched hole can you see that so you must match the top usually would have a punched hole the bottom has nothing at all so you must also note that when you're actually fixing you know um your busk so now on to the main thing i'm going to be using this one because this sort of like fits the um length of the corset that i'm working with however this came with um sort of like an error because you can see that um, the punched sides are not on the same sides can you see the for the looped one you know it's it's just there's just sort of like a mistake but i found a way to work with it so you can see what i'm talking about however it's just an error that you know i made when i was buying it maybe when they were you know packaging everything for me you know they you know packed the wrong thing but anyways this is how i'm going to be fixing it ensure that when you fix it you have that at least a quarter of an inch space in between just like this can you see that so I am going to be showing you how to actually attach this to your fabric so this is my fabric you can see that this is the lining fabric as well as the fashion fabric so you can see that i've placed them right sides together very important so now i've taken the um loop side now for my fashion fabric the fashion fabric is actually facing upwards so now the side that has the loop is going to be on my um left it's actually on my left can you see that so this is the side that's going to carry the loops and then the other side is going to carry the knob so now let me show you how to fix the side so you can see those loops it must actually come out through your fabric so now to fix this right you can see what i am doing i have an inch a quarter of an inch seam allowance that's what i left for my seam allowance at my center front so you can see that i've placed it um, leaving my quarter of an inch seam allowance and then you can see that i'm marking where the loops would actually come out through can you see that so i'm marking those spots mark every single thing very very important so once you are done marking this you know ensuring that you leave your seam allowance at the top and at the hem of your corset so you sew to that point lock your stitch leave that space you know sew that spot leave this space open lock your stitch here sew to this point lock it and then you know just leave the space open for the loops do you understand that so that's what we're going to do here so now i have gone ahead to stitch mine and then on to the moment of truth let me try and insert my busk and see how well it sits correctly so note that i've marked the top of my um, busk so i marked for the two of them for the pair i marked tt indicating the top just so that i do not get confused so i'm going to fix it now so can you see the way i'm fixing it i'm inserting the loops through those holes that i left when i was stitching and it must go through comfortably like it must be you know relaxed and it must go through comfortably so you can see mine has you know sat well really really well so now 
you push it through ensure that um, the loops are um, coming out equally do you understand and then you use your invisible zipper to stitch right at the edge of your busk do you understand that now bear in mind that at this point you must have hemmed both your top and the bottom of your corset that's the neckline and the hemline of your corset must have been finished off neatly so i've gone ahead to stitch mine and this is what it actually looks like can you see that so now for the other side which is the side that has the knob you can see what i'm doing i'm placing it um the way it actually should be and i'm ensuring that it is equal so now this is my chalk i'm going to use my chalk to actually mark through the loops so i know where the knobs should actually sit can you see that i'm marking through the loops so i know where the knobs should actually sit can you see i've gone ahead to mark this now remember that i marked the top of my um busk so i would ensure that when i'm inserting it it is actually the top that is at the top do you understand is at the um neckline of my corset and then the hem is you know the other side so remember that my own the punch side was the top and then the other side is the bottom so you can see me inserting it properly so now after inserting this you can go ahead and pin this in place do you because it's not going to stay like that on its own now bear in mind that you should also have hemmed the neckline as well as the hemline of your corset before doing this so now I'm going ahead to do mine. Can you see that? And I've pinned it in place. I've hemmed the hemline as well as the neckline. And then you can see that I'm just trying to check that, you know, the knobs are sitting the way it actually should sit. Do you understand? And I've pinned it in place so that the busk doesn't move. So I've moved it to the very end and I've pinned it in place. Very important. So now note that the knobs must come through the fabric. And for that to happen, you must create a hole for that to come through. So I'm just using my blade. Now you have to be very, very, very careful. This is actually a fabric that I worked with. Can you see that? This is actually the corset that we created during the waist snatching masterclass. So this is actually a fabric. And I have to be really careful because if I slit and the hole is too um, big, it would start to fray from that point do you understand and it would just start to tear you know and everything would just you know um, go apart so i'm just i just slitted it slightly and now in slitting it ensure that you don't scratch the surface of that knob do you understand so that you don't destroy you don't either peel off the gold um um taping over it or the silver taping over it or whatsoever or that it just doesn't have a scratch so carefully slit through your fabric now this is that corset that we created in the waist snatching massacre so i have a lot of layers of fabrics here jensen so i have to cut through everything so I've, i'm cutting through everything and then i'm going to just use my screwdriver you know to to um you know bring out the sort of like the knob do you understand so just slit it slightly if you're working with a you know softer fabric maybe like um satin or you know something like that you should be really 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 careful so you can see me just um pressing this so that it would um, show properly can you see that so you can see that my knobs are actually showing do you understand so some people would actually suggest to use a puncher but i don't want to use a puncher because i just don't want the hole to be so big i just want you know exactly what i need not even exactly what i need even smaller than what i need so that i'll now use the screwdriver to you know um, push out the knob so that's what i'm going to do till i get to the last bit and then i will show you what to do so after doing this you just go ahead and cross check that it is actually sitting properly can you see mine so you can see that mine is sitting properly everything fits perfectly it's is equal at the hem and at the neckline once you've confirmed that everything is you know sitting properly and you know well placed then you can go ahead and use your invisible zipper foot to stitch you know right at the edge of that busk so that it holds the busk in place so that's basically all and this is the final result of what it looks like see how neat this is like absolutely lovely and this is what it looks like when i wore it so this is a snippet from our waist snatching masterclass so to join the full class or to be part of the full class you can send a whatsapp message to the number that you can see on this flyer or you can follow the seller link in the description box to purchase the course thank you